the, you know, the obvious uses is uh, that student that's that's ill. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. and, you know, we had a couple cases <clears throat> this year where it would have been a great tool to have. Mm -hmm. uh, a young one of our elementary kids broke his leg mm -hmm. uh, and had to have surgery, and you know, was at home board right. stiff, just couldn't be here. Allows them not to miss out on that classroom yeah, they, time. He could have been in the classroom, mm -hmm. and he could have been interacting with the mm -hmm. kids, and and and. and we had another girl who was was ill, and towards the end of it, she just she couldn't be at school because of the fatigue. But she could have been in some classes. Mm -hmm. uh, she would have been able to make it through that. Just couldn't make it through, you know, driving in and right. going back home. Right. The fatigue just was right. too much. The kids would now have that interact and, and experience with the robot, robot. Mm -hmm. so that when they go out some other place and mm -hmm. they do have that interaction, mm -hmm. they're not. It's not this brand new experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. They know, they know how to interact. Right. Because double actually has access. They can tell you where there's doubles all over the world and what schools have them. So you can connect. They're actually setting up a Facebook page with that information. Yeah. Allowing her to continue in her district. Yeah. Work with a, work with a couple kids. Do the paperwork. And right. She could do the paperwork there. Right. But have her log into the double to work yeah. with that child one-on-one. -on -one. Exactly. Yeah. Oh.